In Excel, isn't it really annoying when we want to switch two items over? We have to do the drag, drag, drag shuffle, and that's just a waste of time. Wouldn't it be great if we could do it with one click? Well, that's what we're looking at in this video. So if you're ready, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is to get the code that we need for our macro. So head over to excelofthegrid.com forward slash swap ranges. Here you can see the blog post. We have the code here. So I'm going to select that code and then press control C to copy that code. We'll then head back to Excel. Now at the moment, I don't have the developer tab turned on. So we can right click on any tab and go to customize the ribbon. From here on the right hand side, you can see the ribbons that we have visible. I'm going to select developer and then click OK. Now I'm assuming that we don't have a personal macro workbook either. If you do, you can skip this step, but if you don't, just follow along. In the developer tab, we're going to click record macro and save it in our personal macro workbook. I'll click OK. This is going to create the personal macro workbook for us. We can simply click stop recording. So we haven't actually done anything. We've just started recording and then stopped it. Now from that same developer tab, we can go to the Visual Basic Editor and here you can see our personal macro workbook. I'm going to click into module one and I'm going to paste the code that we copied before. And you'll see that our macro is called Swap Selected Ranges. Right, now let's head back into Excel. Now we want to add this as a button in our ribbon. So I'm going to right click on the ribbon and select Customize the Ribbon. In here on the right hand side, I'm going to click new tab. Now, if I wanted to, I could use the rename button to rename the tab and the group. We're just going to leave it as it is for now. In this drop down, we're going to go to macros and you can see that we have our swap selected ranges macro. I'll click that and then click add to move that across. I'm going to click rename. I'll just call this swap ranges and then let's find a suitable icon. Okay, I'll select that one and then click OK, and then OK again. You'll notice I now have something called New Tab with a button called Swap Ranges. So let's try this out. I'll select North America, I'll hold Control, and I'll select South America, and then click the button. And you'll see the macro runs and now those ranges have been switched over. They've been swapped. One click is all it took. Let's try that again. Look at that. One click is all it takes to switch those ranges over. So that's it. That's how we can easily swap ranges in Excel and even add a button to our ribbon. So it's only one click away. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you next time.